being in a place that is isolated, remote, risky, challenging, is uh, something that requires endurance. My third Christmas in space. Well, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So the title of this book is Endurance, A Year in Space, A Lifetime of Discovery. This was the longest space flight by an American, so it seemed like an apt title. But it also applies to my, my life in a lot of ways. I wasn't much of a student, actually, my whole life from kindergarten to my first year in college. It was impossible for me to pay attention and do my homework. You know, I just happened to be walking across campus one day, and I go into the bookstore to buy something. And I saw this book on the shelf, and I bought it. Went back to my room and read it from, you know, beginning to end. The book was The Right Stuff by Tom Wolfe, and, you know, the way Tom described the pilots and the test pilots. You know, I felt like I had some of the traits that they had. I felt I had things in common with them, even though I was this 18-year-old kid that couldn't do his homework. But, you know, that book made me decide right then and there I was going to try my best to be like these guys. You know, at the time, it seemed like a giant leap. But with a little luck and timing and, you know, preparation and perseverance, I was able to do some uh, pretty accomplished things. The gate is closed and the slider is locked. Untie that wire tie, just one twist. You know, the adrenaline rush is pretty addictive. You know, you're riding on a rocket with seven million pounds of thrust and it could blow up. I mean, that's what excited me about this job. I don't see myself as a hero. I'm a guy that had this very lofty goal that came from humble beginnings and, you know, had some pretty large mountains to climb. But I feel very strongly that if you can dream it, you can do it.